transplanted beets. I double checked my videos. The package did say beets. Um, I bet you. I swear that's all Swiss chard. It's okay. I like Swiss chard. And so does the chickens. Now that's really funny. These are not bleeding. And it looks like I have a whole row of Swiss chard in front. And then I planted beets in the back. Well, the seeds that I used were all beet seeds, but two different packages. <gasps> yep. Well, I think there's like three different in here, the different colored ones. And there's another Swiss chard back there. Because if this isn't bleeding, that's definitely not beets. Now, those are definitely beets. I lick the stem and it tastes like beets. This lighter colored one, it tastes like green. You know, green tastes the special way. So, that's a mixture of chard and beets. Keep a close eye on the chard so it doesn't shade the beets too much. Look at the kohabe. They'll get more light now. That was quite a nice harvest. i go clean it up, cook it up. Might be enough for three meals. Because there are a lot of them that are really tore up that the chickens are going to get. But, that's my Swiss chard. This one's getting ready to go to seed. I figured I'll just take it out. See if it sets out new leaves again. But that's my beet and Swiss chard leaf greens. Green leaves. Tasties. Harvest. First harvest? Not really the first harvest. April's harvest. And this is April's harvest so far. It barely looks dented. Now the beets can grow. I see there's Swiss charge toward the back too, so the seeds are in the wrong package. Now well, the best way to clean it is over the compost pile. There's all the stems. Those are the ones that are either too old or too beat up. The chickens will come in and eat those. And that's going to cook down to about a quarter of the size of the pile. It really isn't that much when you look at it this way. But that's okay. They're delicious. I had a friend. She loved the stems from the Swiss chard. And she said she cooked them like asparagus. Well, I cooked them like asparagus, and they didn't taste like asparagus. They just tasted like tough old Swiss chard. I would rather have asparagus or Swiss chard, not phony asparagus made out of Swiss chard. Well, I got all of that shoved in a bag with room to spare. I can see why two big trash bags full wouldn't make that much because they all had their stems and everything on them. So that takes up a lot more space. And I think we did have like 10 people that day for dinner. It was a holiday dinner. So there was just enough for everybody to have a nice amount. I've washed them. Put them in the salad spinner with vinegar water. Spun them, well, took the water out and spun them out. Put in some fresh water, no dirt in the container whatsoever, and I'm going to microwave them. And I use oven bags. I use the oven bags for my artichokes, so I figured this is the first time I've had a decent volume of Swiss chard. I'm going to try that. And with the artichokes, I wrap them in a damp paper towel, put them in the bag, and microwave them. Depending on the microwave will depend on the time. And I just fold the bag under. But Swiss chard is very juicy, even if it's been spun. So, I think I'll just tie a knot in the top, or I don't know if I'll put a clip on it or not, because I do have plastic clips. But I'm going to go microwave the Swiss chard now. Did that great big thing? It feels like there's maybe a pound pound and a half. I could weigh it. I'll go weigh it. Okay. That's how much it's cooked down. 
and it's hot. I'll leave it in the bag so it doesn't dry out, which it does have a tendency to dry out if you uncover it right away. And there was no salt, no pepper, no butter, no bacon fat, no nothing. It was just whatever moisture was on the Swiss chard. And that's it. Swiss chard and water. But now I can go put butter and stuff on it. Oh, it's really good with blue cheese. Oh, I don't have any. Foggy out, and we got a pair of them riding down the street. <laughs>